Right, I thought I'd do a video review of my car. It's a Ford Focus ST225. She's an ST2 and she's better known as Frosty. I've had her now for about three years. Um, she was completely standard when I bought her. I said all I would do was change the wheels and put some tints on. Now they've been some very expensive wheels and some very expensive tints. Um, I think one of the first modifications I did was the exhaust. The exhaust is a Miltec Ultimate. It's three inch straight through. It has a Mongoose three inch downpipe to complete the system. It sounds absolutely lovely. Um, on takeover, when you start it up, when the choke's on, it's very loud. Then when the revs drop, it's absolutely fine. Uh, when you open her up, she's got a lovely grunt to her. But overall, it's a good exhaust, there's no drone or anything like that. Um, I'm going to the side. There's not much visually done to her other than wheels. Um, and a couple of stickers. Not for the exterior anyway, the interior is completely standard too, besides some heater knobs and a Pioneer DVD player. The wheels are Team Dynamic Pro Race 1.2s in gloss white. They're wrapped in Uniroyal Rain Sport 3s. The brakes are EBC Ultimax, I think they are, um, with the red stuff pads. Don't get much noise with them, even though they're grooved. Fairly quiet, not that bad, but they stop, and that's the main thing, what matters. Um, wheel nuts, the TPIs, um, they came in blue, but starting to wear off a little bit now. I've had them for about a year and a half, and starting to look tacky now, could do some replacements. Um, the latest purchase I had was these mud flaps. They're very good, they do tend to keep the car quite clean. Let's move on to the front. She's lowered on the 4040 H&R lowering springs. Shocks at the minute are standard. Um, but the handling may be the next thing to concentrate on. Um, she has a front splitter as well to complete the lock compartment. I believe it's a triple R, I'm not quite sure. I bought it from Ford Fair last year at a good price. Managed to squeeze it in the car on the way home. Colour coded the fog surrounds. Now the engine bay. Nice pretty place to look. She has some Shimoto, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, coolant pipes. They go around down the back of the turbo, around the front at the top. Down the bottom of the radiator here. Sorry, down the bottom there is the radiator, it's the top radiator hose. Um, she has the Auto Specialist RS crossover pipe. Completed with the Auto Specialist Group A. Cosworth, nice big filter, goes right down at the back there. She has the Auto Specialist Plenum. Pro Hose Boost Pipes, which you can't really see many of them, you only see the top two. The back one's a Forge one, but that's from when I had the RS um, ECU Hybrid Turbo Conversion. She's running RS software on Revo Stage 4. Should be pushing about 350 to 370 brake horsepower. Yet to be confirmed on a rolling road. They have had a rolling road, but they were cowboys. And she only made 320 whilst wheel spinning. Um, it's quite a lot of engine covers. Alloy engine covers, which I need to polish. She's got this nice dress up kit, which adds a lovely touch. Now, the slam panel cover is a Ford C Max or the Focus TDI, TCDI, I believe. Um, that's a nice cheap modification because the air vent, like with the standard ST, is on the left. This one's now blocked and the intake vent is sorry, on the right, so now it's going to the air filter. 
I had this painted not long ago and it's in frozen white and I don't know if the camera will catch it but it has a drop of blue pearl in there very small drop I don't think I can see on the camera I'll try this something. there is blue pearl in there somewhere can't really see it at the minute um, what else is there yeah at the minute I don't know if you can see through the grill might be too dark she has the AirTech Gen 3 Stage 1 intercooler I could do with upgrading that but doesn't seem to have any problems um, yeah like I said she's running RS software RS crossover pipe 650cc injectors Turbo Smart Recirculation Valve. Um, she has the Turbo Smart Actuator. And the hybrid system is a ST Turbo with an RS billet wheel and other RS internals, I believe. Some of you might recognise this car from one of my wedding pictures. Um, I might put a picture of it on the link. At the end of the video. Um, yeah, at the minute she's a work in progress. Still a lot more to do to her. The next thing will be coming hopefully soon. Which should make her stand out a bit more. One way or another. Uh, I just thought I'd make a video today because you know we've got this lovely weather today and it's not often summers in England. Uh, let's see if I can get a full shot of the car for you. It's a lovely motor, she handles pretty well, I'd say she's only lowered, um, but the power deliverance is spot on, surprises a lot of cars. The kids absolutely love her. Um, a lot of the work I've done myself, fitting the lowering springs, the brakes, the exhaust, the engine bag, it's completely what I've done. Um, some of the main things that I've not been able to do, I've had done at Demon Performance Centre, that's in crew. They fitted the RS software, the actuator obviously because it needs setting up, um, RS clutch which needed doing. Which obviously I can't do that on my drive with axle stands. Uh, yeah, I do pretty much everything I can to her myself, mainly to save cost, but also to know the car better and learn as I go along. But any major things I'll leave to the professionals. Did have a problem um, just before Christmas. I went for the block mod along with the fitment of the hybrid turbo. And upon removing the head, we found that the cylinders had already cracked. The liners were gone quite badly, which left me in a bit of a hiccup because it was about three weeks before Christmas. Um, Demon Formance Centre had a replacement engine there waiting for me, but it had a bottom end knock on it. So what they had to do was strip the internals out of that, strip the internals out of mine, obviously swap them round, make one good engine, and he had to spend, what, drive 1,000 miles, under 2,500 revs. Got the car a couple of days before Christmas. Back from all the work it had done to it there. Um, over Christmas, over January and February, driving really slow with that extra boost under the engine. It's a bit hard to stick to, but managed to do it. And then since then, she's been absolutely perfect. She has a couple of gel badges, Revar ones. Supporting the Auto Specialist stickers and the STRC.com stickers, which are also on the mud flaps. Another thing she has in the engine is Evans Waterless Coolant, which, if you've not heard of it, is pretty spot on. It's 
good addition to have on this engine to help prevent liners cracking. Um, I opted for this option when the engine was getting rebuilt, never had it beforehand, but it's you get the same water temperature as using normal coolant, um, but it has less pressure. You can actually get it up to optimum temperature, remove the cap, and there's no pressure at all. It won't blast up at you as though it was no, normal coolant. So less pressure in the system, less strain on the engine, seemed good stuff. Yeah. Well, like I said, she's a work in progress at the minute. I might update another video when she has her next couple of modifications. And hopefully I will see some of you at Ford Fair.